Hey everyone, Dead Owl Nerd Guy here. I'm giving you a little update on my XL Archive project because I found out that some copper piping are really, really useful in our hobby. Welcome, Stack. Yeah, basically I was looking for idea for a different blaster. I had a few X-Shot blaster in mind and since they re-release this awesome Akai and I love this blaster, I decided to make another one. But another one, how? I mean, as much as this blaster is fun, it is kind of limited by its single shot barrel break pump action. And to be honest with you, since I've made this one, my Brass Barrel Alkai. I don't really need a special Alkai. I, need, I mean, I will have to invent something just to get better than this thing, which is already giving me pretty decent numbers, as it is like that. I mean, this is 134 FPS blaster. I barely modified the spring setup inside. I reinforced the whole shell with hot glue uh, on the interior and I put a brass barrel with a classic uh, foam ring that we put on cylinder blaster for the seal and an o-ring at the base here just to be sh to double my seal to be sure everything was fine. And as you can see with a bear with a very little spring upgrade. I think it's a five kilogram spring I got inside. I fetch 134 FPS with this blaster. But doing something like this is while very very fun. I mean, it, it is still a one shot blaster, and the pump action kind of call for more than this. So I kind of went into a tactical vibe here. And I ended up like modifying aesthetically this thing. It's a worker 279mm uh, uh, Picatinny rail made for strife, if I remember correctly. I had this little Chinese RMR sight, fake RMR sight on it just for look. Uh, I basically cut the rail on this part here uh, and I removed this part at the back. This way I have the two half notch meeting each other in the middle for a very very nice finish and that kind of called for a good paint job but I want to find a good gimmick for it so I went testing and the idea of my Aero Blaster inline clip kind of stuck I said come on if I could put an inline clip in that barrel just open it drop four or five dart in closing it and just pump for every shot and having five rounds in that thing that would be awesome four or five rounds uh, I'm optimistic I could do something five round but four round maybe will help me with FPS so I start testing with the same material I had before the little barrel material since it got uh, loose around the dark to help the air go around it and then push the, f the dart in front of it. But I wanted something a bit tighter than that because the the plunger volume, the air volume in those blasters is not that big. So I need something that will give me like a response with a tighter barrel fit. For the Hero Blaster it was still okay but I might update it because by accident testing with uh, my little fitting that I use for breech. This is copper. This is a half inch by 3.8 copper fitting. Uh, I mean, you insert it in. This is just the right squeeze to hold your dart uh, around this little ring. And here, this portion is exactly the diameter of the dart. This dart is a little worn, but normally dart holds in there. Let me grab another one just here and it holds and it's not even at the ring. So that's a perfect diameter for a very small barrel for a line clip and the shape inside is pretty regular meaning I would be able to 
push a dart through or at least guide a dart and still that spacing around the dart is the same this is too dark I'm gonna give you a chance to see here here there is a space around the dart this space is almost three millimeter like one eighth of an inch all around what if I could shrink that space by half and then here comes the copper pipe where the copper pipe become useful at least I'm an old school guy I like to mod old school with the old school way and this half inch type M.29 wall copper pipe this measurement is very important because pretty much every copper pipe got the same diameter same, not the same inner diameter but the same outer diameter it only changed with the thickness of the material which is gonna alter the space you have inside this thing fits like a glove it's made for it I mean if you just push it tight a bit of tape will hold it there or you just solder it and it's completely leak proof but what's interest me here is the space I have in there because this spacing is good I basically cut by half the spacing that I needed to remove from this one just because one fit magically into one another so having removed that much space I decided to cut myself a piece put the little fitting on top of it and then test with a small blaster so I cut down an old project that was a big shock and I shove a piece of copper pipe on it and honestly I, I, I made a thing <laughs> it is really fun to use as is as a pistol but this little setup will be my inline clip inside my barrel and I think I will go with the full five round this is a five round capacity tube and for this blast so you don't even remove it you just insert them oops dropped it insert them through the mouth here one by one let me grab another one four and five yeah so there we have five run oops <laughs> one came out because and it all fire pretty nicely the only lacking I have is with worn dart if you use new dart pretty perfect this is this is a thing like this thing shoots 80 FPS without mud without glue without anything I basically put tape over this part shove it in for test to see if at least the pressure was moving forward to move the dart in so the principle here would be to use this copper pipe which I, which I found is the magic pipe for inline clip a little heavy but a magic pipe because if you hold it like that I will just have to drop my dart in close the barrel of my Hawkeye pump it and have my four or five shot ready so I really think this could be a very very good use of those X shot blaster I mean really this setup that I'm using here will be at least for now it is giving me 85 FPS 80 85 FPS out of uh, the Alki if I just upgraded the spring maybe to a six kilogram meteor spring which I like to use in those it's not too strong I might be able to ramp it up over 100 FPS with the inline clip which would be awesome because doing the same system on a vigilante which got two barrel you will have uh, something that you pump and that will alternate barrel every time shooting from your inline clips in your blaster so I could have a 10 round vigilante or five round archive and the project for this one is basically to shove a ring of copper on it to be able to install the scar barrel and it will 
work. It eats about 5 FPS of the setup, but the dart fly way straighter, at least with this small accuracy ratio scar. I cut it down so it fit better on it and more flush with the dart, meaning the little spline inside start right where the dart goes out. So that's an, that's basically is the project, the inline clip tactical archive. I mean, I can't wait to dive a little more into this one. I almost have every part. Uh, I'm gonna use a small, this is a micro plunger part, which I just axaw it. I'm gonna use it for a center ring. Let me, let me show you. I'm gonna use it just for a center ring here to bring the barrel at the right place inside of here the same way I brought the barrel at the right place and this one with uh, part of uh, I think was a micro but this time was a micro plunger tube that I used for this one I like to reuse part uh, yeah I like to go old school so yes this is gonna be the project I am gonna come back on a follow-up video for this one so basically my point here was this one and a half by three eight reducer coupler with type M 0.29 uh, inch wall copper half inch copper pipe will be like the perfect inline clip easy mod for pretty much any blaster. I, I even had a good good 60 ish FPS result with a two round jolt. So basically, this is the magic tube. So copper is useful after all. That's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell, stay notified for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.